Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. I wait every day, not just being scolded as you say, because of your attitudes. This is not my intention. My intention is exactly to show you the points where you need to improve, that is the goal. I'm not here, as you usually say, pointing the finger at anyone, accusing anyone, judging anyone, I'm just reporting, showing, everything that you were involved in, and that you got used to living according to the environment. I understand that much of what you experience today was cherished for a long time, precisely because of the increasing increase in feelings of low vibration. Everything very well orchestrated, everything was very well put together, planned, by those who wanted you to completely lose the strength of high vibrational feelings. What happens if you all start vibrating loudly? Many things, evolution, evolution happens. So this was not allowed. You couldn't evolve because it wasn't the time, it wasn't the time, and it wasn't even interesting for them, for you to evolve. Then, we are going to talk again about that time, when we allowed, and it was decided by our father or mother God, that this was a school planet. And more and more you went deeper into these feelings, based on what was presented to you. I understand that it is often complicated for you when we say that we have to respect your free will. Many understand that we simply cross our arms and watch, watching everything happen, without taking any action, but, I can tell you that this is our position, we cross our arms and wait for you to wake up, and vibrate loudly, so we can help. So this is how society got to where it is today. Yes, the planet had to resonate in the third dimension, so you had to experience all these feelings that are there, that you live today, and in fact you live with a ten, because you can resonate these feelings in their entirety. You have tried them all, and many of you like to experiment, like addictions. These bring pleasure, they bring comfort, a false comfort that makes you forget about life, denying the future consequences. But you got carried away. Once again, you continue to let yourself be carried away by a false hope of improvement. Many of you have not learned that lesson, that great lesson where it all began. The vast majority continue to think that they can do certain things without any harm, either to themselves or to others. Then you fell into the trap again. We let the evolution of the species itself take over the environment, that is, you became increasingly dependent on everything that was created, and dependence is a very bad, very low feeling. But you fell into the trap again. Many are aware of the degree of dependence you are on technology. Many don't, many think that everything is normal and that they are not sick. But the vast majority already are, because you already start the day with the devices in your hands. No, I'm not even going to mention the energy that emanates from him here. I think you're already tired of knowing that it's an electronic device, and every electronic device emits bad energy, emits bad energy. Let alone this one, which is very close to all of you. Many carry it close to their hearts, bad idea, because you are altering the waves of the main organ in your body. Many carry it in their hand, close to the chakra in their palm also not advisable. So, if you ask me, where are we going to charge the device, nowhere. That was my answer, it's the correct answer. But I need to understand that your world today only works that way, that's how you talk to each other. You no longer meet, you only talk to each other through devices. That happy birthday hug, that celebration, that lunch, that dinner, no longer fits. Now everything is messages, stickers, videos, whatever you can send there, you send, and it's very good. No one remembers anyone's birthday anymore, let the machine remember, if she doesn't remember, it's over. In the past, you had everyone written down in a big diary and you were always waiting for the right day to wish congratulations, to hug that person, to wish you good things. Today, you wait for the devices to warn you. And then you send all sorts of messages. Being present, being there, giving a hug, showing that that important person is no longer important. You left that aside. It's my brothers, it was a big trap, it was a great invention, which really brought about the greatest separation that could happen on the planet. 
Master Play. We recognize, it was a great move. But telling you that everyone should give up their devices today is impossible, because your entire life is dependent on them. Everything was done so that you became totally dependent on them, there is no way you can live without having these devices at hand. It's work, colleagues, friends, everything is there, and as I said, even your children are already getting used to having one of these in their hands. Great absurdity, as they are already being contaminated with bad energy, since they were little. Look what you are doing with your children. Ah, but it's a way for them to stay quiet. Really, you no longer have the patience to play with your children, to deplete their energy. So you buy devices and leave the child there, alone, playing alone. I already talked about this, I won't repeat it. But notice how you fell into a big trap again. Even though you are very close, because the devices allow it, you talk to someone on the other side of the world in a matter of seconds, you are increasingly distant from each other and you can even say that often within your homes, you no longer speak to each other. When they have to talk, they send a message via the device. Look how far you've come. And then they complain that families are dissolving, that families no longer exist, that the sense of family no longer exists, of course, because the great feeling that drove it all was love, union, friendship, which today only exists through devices, not in person. Rare cases when it exists live. So my brothers, and you say you are ready to go to the fifth dimension. Ah, my archangel, but like this you are discouraging us more every day. No, I'm not getting discouraged, I'm showing the truth. What would be the point if I didn't say anything, and then, at the right time, I told you, look, you didn't get the ticket because you were dependent on a device, and then you'll say, wow. Why didn't you tell me that before, so it is. So I'm here being as truthful and as frank as possible, so that you can know exactly where you need to improve, where they have to change. I understand that simply saying to you, leave the devices aside, you won't be able to, because many use it for work, and this is how you communicate. Very good. But let's try at least, in those moments, when you are not using braces for work, Let's try to police ourselves a little, let's try to eliminate dependency. Ah, but sometimes we receive important, urgent messages, and if we leave them aside we don't see them. Very good. Yes, the reasons are countless. You're going to stay here listing me a bunch of reasons to change my opinion. I will not change. You are sick, you are totally dependent. This is the truth, the honest truth. A total dependence on these devices was created. Then I ask you, what will you do if one day all this technology ends? What will you do? Will you be able to know the names of the thousands of followers, as you call them, that you have on your social networks, or will you only know the names of your friends, at least those that you consider as friends? Real friends, not imaginary friends, because that friend who is just a name is an imaginary friend that you had as a child, that you talked to him, but he didn't exist. For you, that is an imaginary friend. You do not know him, never saw him in person, so it is imaginary. What will you do? I believe there will be despair in the world, and I even dare say that you would be more desperate about losing your devices than, for example, starting to lose power. Ah, the light, we can find a way. Very good. Even forgetting all the advantages that light brings to your life, but not the devices, these cannot be missing. What are you going to feel like? How will you feel? SOS. Where are the friends? Is there anyone there by your side? No, there isn't, because everyone was on the device. And then you will have to move around to be able to see each person, or else, go back to that old device, on which you spoke to each other but which was not used with you. But where's the number? How are you going to call someone you don't know the number of? Complicated, no. It is my brothers, this is what you have become, totally dependent on machines. If the machines run out, you'll end up together. Think about it, 
think deeply about it. You don't know what technology you will have in the new world. Will you have these devices in your hands? I can say no, because there will be no vices, there will be no dependence on anything. Of course you will have communication, and very advanced, but not with dependence. Communications will be different. How will you react to this? Are you going to be depressed because you are going to lose those thousands of friends you had? Those who have millions of people, who are snooping into their lives all day long, how will they feel? Not being able to show off to anyone else, not being able to show your intimate life to anyone else. My brothers, start changing. The world is changing. Your world will change. Start to lose this dependence a little, or you will feel a lot, you will be totally lost, completely off the air. So think about it. What can you do today, to be with your friends live? Not through the device. Experience friendships live, with all the feelings they bring, joy, sadness, discussions, different points of view, different tastes, different learning. This is a life friendship. I think you are even losing the ability to talk to each other, live, because behind a device, you say what you want, you become powerful, and live, you have to think twice before speaking. Interesting. It's an interesting way of seeing life. So my brothers, telling you to put down your devices, I recognize that I cannot, because you have a whole life in there, but try, try to let go little by little, try to move away, impose certain times in the day away from him, step away from that energy for a while during the day. Don't sleep with him in your beds. This is nonsense, in addition to being dangerous, you are receiving the full load of energy, and I can tell you one thing, these little devices were not created by beings of light. So they have their own technology to engage you. If you sleep with them, what happens? Your sleep is already invaded. Keep them as far away from you as possible while sleeping, not close. Use them close to your body for as little time as possible, do not carry them in your hands, you have chakras in the palms of your hands, which are invaded by this energy, unbalanced. Wear them as far away from your body as possible. If you could use it on your feet, it would be interesting, not on the soul, but not close to the body, much less close to the heart. It's my brothers, I'm not being an alarmist. I am showing you a truth that you all know. Nothing I said here is news to you. But you don't want to accept it. But the choice is yours. Do you really want to prepare to go to the fifth? Great, then start taking the correct postures. Live life live, not through devices. You have to live, interact, eye to eye, you are becoming fearful and audacious. Fearful, because they can no longer face anyone head on, and audacious because they do what they want behind the devices, thinking that nothing is working, nothing has consequences. Both are wrong. Get rid of this vice, my brothers, use the devices, I know you have to use it, but not in a dependent way. Not in a way where you can't do without them for a minute. Use them consciously, and especially try to get to know your friends, those, those, that you post on your social networks. Meet new people, learn to live with new ways of thinking, live. And when you're having fun, tell your guardians, I'm going to be away for a while. I'm here having fun and put your cell phones aside. Everyone will know you are there, is having fun. Don't keep looking every minute to see who sent you a message. Whoever sent it will wait. You often have to answer your guardians when you are young. Then say, I'm here. If you want to talk to me, call. Because even that you are missing out on. You no longer care to hear the other voice on the other side, as you used to do when you were far away. But at least you heard the person's voice, you heard her joy at hearing your voice too. So combine this. Anyone who wants to talk to me, urgently, call, because I will respond to this message when I can. Ready. Start imposing limits, even on your friends. And you will see, how things will get much more interesting, and you will have time to live, you will have time to talk eye to eye, 
face to face, and you will lose this dependency that you are. Remember, you fell into the trap again. I am Archangel Michael. I am here, bringing the truth, that which is not nice to hear, but which is necessary at this stage of your evolution.